Doodly review. So what's going on guys? In today's video, we'll be doing a thorough review on Doodly, the popular whiteboard animation maker or software, whatever you guys want to call it. And we're going to be doing a thorough review on how you can actually use this tool to create really high quality whiteboard animation videos to keep your viewers engaged and to create high quality content for your video marketing campaigns or quite frankly, anything when it comes to doing, you know, videos online, okay? So be sure to watch this video till the end so I can show you pretty much everything you need to know about Doodly and actually giving you a live walkthrough of Doodly so you can see all the features, all the different like things you can do inside of Doodly and even watch me build a campaign live together. So with that being said, let's begin today's Doodly review video. All right, so I hope you guys are ready because we're gonna be doing a far review on this amazing whiteboard animation software called Doodly. We're gonna be doing a live walkthrough together, going through all the features, going through pretty much everything you need to know about Doodly right here. And as you can see, we're inside of the members area where we can actually, you know, go ahead and start making some professional whiteboard animation videos together. And let's begin. So um, obviously this tool is working for both Mac and PC. And if you haven't already, I'll leave a link down below to Doodly so you can actually check out their pricing plans and actually take advantage of their special deal. Again, which I'll leave a link down below um, through that special link down below in the video description. So you can go ahead and take action on that if you haven't already. But yeah, let's begin today's review. So let's go over here to create a new video to begin today's review video. And right off the bat, we can choose from multiple different types of styles. So. We can either choose from a whiteboard style, a chalkboard style, a um, glassboard style, or a custom style if you want to, right? So let's just put in a random title. So um, let's put in video, no, sorry, test for video. Just any random title, just because it's gonna be an example for, you know, today's live review. And let's just choose, you know, the 1080p you know, resolution. And of course you can choose any um, resolution you would like. And let's go ahead and click on create. And we'll be taken to the user interface right here where we can actually, you know, create our amazing whiteboard animation video. So this is where all of the magic is going to happen, right? So let's kind of like dissect everything right now because I'll be honest with you guys, when I first like came into the tool, I was kind of like overwhelmed. I was like, okay, how am I going to learn how to use this tool all by myself? But the good thing is guys, um, Diddly has a bunch of pre-made tutorial videos, which makes learning the software really easily as you can see on screen. Um, once you do actually sign up, you actually have a bunch of resources and tutorials, which will get you up and running as soon as possible. So again, if you haven't already, I'll leave a link down below to Doodly if you want to check that out. Um, but yeah, just wanted to quickly mention the tutorial aspect. Um, so you don't have to worry about that, right? Um, but I really do like um, Doodly's user interface. So for an example, where we're going to be adding like the scenes, the characters, the props right here, text, sounds obviously, and the marketplace if you want to like buy certain images and this color variation right here. So Doodly Rainbow, you basically have to like pay for an additional add-on unfortunately to actually have this available. So that's a bit of a con because you have to actually pay for the add-on, but the Doodly Rainbow add-on is really, really worth it if you want that for yourself, which is completely optional. So if we go over here, let's just choose a random scene just for an example because I want to show you something pretty cool so what I want to go ahead and show you guys right now is how you can actually edit your scene and you know do the editing while actually you know showing the preview of the actual edit itself so if we go over here as you can see we can see the animation play live and we can also you know see and you know manipulate like the actual scene itself right here which is pretty cool so I just want to like quickly show you that you know feature right here now, if we go over here, as you can see, there's a bunch of different scenes we can choose from. We can always, you know, go ahead and actually delete this scene. So, you know, are you about to remove, the, you know, this selected asset from the scene? You can obviously, you know, delete certain like different assets within the scene itself. So we can obviously delete that. You know, let's just click on delete. We can delete this bed, for an example. So we only have this right here. We can always delete this as well. And as you can see, so if we go back to show you preview, we can just, you know, click on play. So for example, the chair takes about three seconds to like draw. We can make that about, so let's just make this like one second, right? If we click on play again, it should be a bit shorter. I forgot to click enter, so I apologize for that. So if we click on play, as you can see, it's only one second now to draw the chairs because we changed that in the settings right here. So essentially, if we just go ahead 
and just delete all this. Um, we can obviously delete the whole scene if we want all at once. I just wanted to kind of like go through like the individual like parts of the whole scene itself because we can change that. So if we just add this new scene for an example, we can always actually change the different like you know elements within the actual scene itself and, and how long it's actually going to be taking to draw like the individual elements. So let's go ahead and actually delete these scenes. So I really like the user interface to sort of do it's just really nice to use. So let's click on delete this scene and yeah and as you can see we can obviously add different like characters to our doodly animation so let's go ahead and just choose someone who's standing up so let's just choose um this random dude right here okay and we can obviously adjust like the size of the character we can make it smaller larger we can obviously flip the character um we can go ahead and actually you know bring it forward and bring it um, back so what I'll show you right now is if we go to props I'll show you what I mean by um, the bring it forward and send it backwards feature let's just choose a rug and just search that up right here so let's click on the rug and if we go over here we can put this backwards for an example so it looks like the character is actually like stepping on the rug so let's just adjust the sizing make it a bit smaller and we can make the character look like he's standing on the rug which is pretty cool and obviously we can you know let's just say i want to send this backwards and obviously it looks a bit weird so we can obviously bring the character forward and it looks like he's stepping on the rug which is pretty cool right so if we go over here to show the preview we can see what that looks like right off the bat so let's click on preview so it draws the rug first as you can see um it's just drawing the rug and then it draws like the person on top of the rug right and we can again you know adjust the duration we can have some delays in between there's a lot of cool things we can actually do inside of doodly so there's a lot of features we can actually go over so oh, i actually want to show you one of my favorite features so this is going to be the timeline area right here where you can you know adjust your um pan and zoom in you can obviously see all the different scenes and like all the different like you know animations you've added inside of your video you can add music but one feature that i absolutely love that makes you know creating doodly type of like videos so easy is basically being able to record your voice over while the animation is playing and then being able to like you know tune your audio and sync it in with the actual video animation so if i go ahead and click on the plus you know button right here and click on record the video is going to record right here so as you can see um, what i'm saying right now has been recorded and it's going to be in sync with like the actual video so if we click on play the video is going to record right here so as you can see um, what i'm saying so that's a pretty cool feature isn't it you can kind of like record your voice at the same time of the animation playing and really make sure that your animation is going to be in line with your voice as you're you know creating your video inside of doodly which is really nice so i'm just going to go ahead and you know get rid of that because i just did a live example and that was pretty bad um, but that's okay because i want to also show you another pretty cool feature um, inside of doodly so if we go over here the settings so like do you see this hand right here we can go ahead and change that and make this like any type of hand we want you know so we can like you know choose this hand um this one we can even go over here to the cartoon hands right here and we can choose like you know any type of hand we want so maybe we want like this hand for example okay so as you can see here's the new type of hand that we've literally you know applied to our settings and it looks pretty nice i actually like the cartoon hand a lot more better than the other hand personally um we can obviously make this you know um the blue hand if you want if that's what you want to do with the, like the blue sleeve we can click on apply again and it'll apply the settings so if we click on play again you know here's a new cartoon hand you know with like the um blue sleeve which looks nice as well so um i also like the settings right here as well that we have the you know the option to choose like the hand style um obviously you know we can always change the style of the video as well if we want throughout the video so if you want to like do a chalkboard video instead of like a whiteboard animation video um you know within like the actual you know um, user interface when actually editing our video we can always do that at any time so as you can see it's changed completely and of course we can go back here to you know change like the chalkboard into the whiteboard how it was before now um when the video ends or like when the animation ends we can also have like some you know transitions and some different like type of like animations so for example we can make it like swipe left make a swipe right swipe up down swipe mixed or do some camera panning if you want um we can also go over here to um a raise mode where it's kind of like you know set to like smart mode you can make it with finger with eraser um you can turn it off if you want so there's lots of different like you know settings we can mess around with to really make the best type of like video animations we want inside of doodly or you know more specifically whiteboard animations which is awesome so we can click on apply to you know save the settings and we can also enable auto save to save the video 
automatically every minute if you want to enable that as well so as you can see there's lots of different like settings we can play around with like i said during the video as well um the panning and um you know zooming features so we can actually like zoom into like a certain part of the image and pan into it so we can kind of like adjust the panning of the camera because um in the past i know with like doodly you can only add like panning and zooming between like different like scenes so if i had like another scene for example we can just like i don't know add like a um almond for an example and you can only like you know pan and zoom in between scenes but now we can actually do it for like individual like elements and there's a lot of in-depth tutorials as well like if you actually get the tool again i'll leave a link down below to doodly so you can check that out there's a lot of like tutorials that will show you like step by step and how you can actually get the panning and zoom in like you know all set up and do it properly so you can actually get the animation and you know pan and zoom to the parts you actually want to for your video right so we've covered a lot in today's review video so far and there's still a couple of things i want to cover now for an example let's just say you want to match up your audio with a video and we've obviously went through today's example and how you can do this by recording your voice while watching your video and the animation play live so you can pre-record your voiceover while the animation is playing so you know like what to say during each part of the animation however let's just say you pre-recorded an audio clip you know prior to making the animation video i've just inserted like a music clip for an example right and obviously we have like this blue little arrow right here in the timeline where we can actually adjust and go to certain parts of the video so let's just say the audio ends right here we can make the animation like you know drag it like right here and make it like you know end on the perfect spot where your audio matches with your video right so that's a pretty cool feature and that's how you can actually overcome that obstacle of like having issues when it comes to like matching your audio with the video which is really really important when making these type of videos right so i just want to quickly point that out right here as well so if we exit out of this right here and if we go over here to images so as you can see there's a ton of different images and what we can do is actually add our own images so if you have like your own images and stuff and then you want to add you can click on browse file you can drop your character here or select a file and you can import your own stuff as well now um, with the standard um, doodly plan right here you do get a bunch of different like characters and images but you don't get as much as the club so um, what I would strongly recommend if you do want more images in your account is actually upgrade to the enterprise plan if you would like to upgrade a bunch more images of course this is completely optional the standard plan is more than sufficient but I'm just saying if you want even more images I'm like I'm talking like a lot more actually then I'll strongly recommend upgrading so you can get a lot more images inside of your account and of course we can add text to a video so again we can have props characters different pre-made scenes already done for you if you want like right off the bat and we can also add like text to our videos as well click here we can add different text so let's just type in welcome to my video okay and we can basically you know put this right to left um, we can just leave it the way it is we can word warp it if we want let's just click on done for an example we can make this text a little more bigger okay it's a bit too big but you get the idea and we have the same features where we can basically like put this behind an image or in front of an image right so let's just leave it the way it is and we can obviously adjust the duration we can make this like last for three seconds if we go to show preview here's the text right here it looks pretty cool right and if we just go through the timeline as you can see it has that nice little um you know transition as well as it goes to the next scene which is really really nice as well and that's what i mean you can basically do a lot of different like transitions all right so to conclude today's video i think doodly is a very very powerful yet very simple software to use you know it's actually very easy to use once you get the hang of it i know you know maybe at the start when you're trying to like learn the tool it can be kind of like overwhelming not everyone's going to find it overwhelming some people might but regardless there are plenty of tutorials for you to like you know watch before even like beginning to use the tool if that's what you want and literally actually has a 30 day money back guarantee as well so um you can get your money back within 30 days of buying doodly and you'll get 100 percent refund of your money so would i recommend it um yes 100 percent doodly is a beyond very powerful tool so i'll leave a link down below where you can actually get doodly right away um through that link down below and um, that's going to be an affiliate link so a quick disclaimer if you do decide to buy doodly through my affiliate link down below i do get a commission at no extra cost to you whatsoever if anything the links down below are actually going to help you save money because i'm going to be constantly updating the links down below to ensure you get the best price possible and the best deal for doodly so i'll leave the link down below in the video description for your convenience so you can try out doodly yourself and um yeah that's pretty much it for today's doodly review video and the best animation software review as well so with that being said thanks for watching today's video again i'll leave a link down below to doodly so you can check it out and you know take action on it if you want to try it out and yeah thanks for watching today's video